The same things that make tires durable also make them hard to recycle. In the 1800s, Charles Goodyear accidentally dropped rubber treated with sulfur onto a stove and discovered a process to harden the material called vulcanization. It made rubber stronger and resistant to extreme temperatures. Exactly what cars need out of tires. As more Americans started driving, rubber production exploded in the early 20th century. And most of it came from plantations in Southeast Asia. And then World War II happened. The Allies needed a lot of rubber for trucks, cars, and planes. The U.S. asked its major manufacturers to find an additional source. Synthetic rubber. One of wartime's newest industries, one of America's modern miracles. Today's tires are a blend of natural and synthetic rubber, reinforced with metal and plastic fibers to make them more durable. But no matter how tough they are, they don't last forever. 